Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I want to show you something really cool. So basically I'm using my Katana 3 Gen, which I love by the way, and I still think it's better than the MK2, no matter what they say to me, I have both and this is an improvement. Okay, with that out of the way, I'm capturing it with a microphone, but it's a different microphone I'm going to show you. So the microphone is one of these UAD Universal Audio Microphones. They start very low in price with the SD3 Dynamic. We have a condenser and I chose this one, the SD7 Dynamic Microphone. I could have chosen the SD5. It depends the microphone. This is a modeling microphone, like you have modeling technology for you know, guitar amps and everything, drums. Now you have also for microphone. This is really, really awesome. I'm going to show you how and why it's awesome. Now, of course, for this to work, I believe you have to have uh, an Apollo interface, some kind, you know, and this is about a little bit of an ecosystem of a UAD. So these microphones are affordable, but usually their audio interfaces are not very affordable at all. But anyways, if you have one, you're gonna love this. I bought this for 157 euros and this is really awesome. Let me show you why. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm already recording here in Logic. I'm using Telecaster, nothing special about this. a little bit out of tune but anyways and this is the sound of the microphone now the, the coolest thing is if I go into my mixer window I can have this plugin that's automatically registered to your account and comes free with the microphone called hemisphere now first things first first you select your microphone because all microphones come with different microphones inside so if I select here my SE7 double click it now what I have here if I click in the middle you guys can guess it. I have in this bundle one, two, three, four, five microphones that you can use in real time or put it after you're recording. So this is really cool. So I'm going to record something. And, and if you want some extra information on the microphones, if you click this one, you can click here a little bit about the plugin and it says everything you need to know. Then you have output. You have a phase because you might need it if you have multiple microphones. You have a filter that goes up to, I believe, I saw this 200 Hertz, depends on the microphone, I guess. You have proximity with a nice graphic effect here. So you can change the proximity effect of the recording after the fact. Then you have the axis, it's really cool. Doesn't do anything on the graph, but it's really cool. And then power. Okay, so back to our microphones. Now, I click here, or I click here, source, and I'm going to disengage it. It's, it's already disengaged. And I'm going to record a little bit of guitar, okay? So back to our edit window. Let's go for some simple chords and stuff. Okay, I was using one of the patches on my latest pack here on the screen for the Katana. It's a um, Marshall pack. So let's listen to the recording without any microphone, with just the tone from the microphone itself, which is, by the way, really good, just for itself. I'm going to disengage the stutter machine here, and let's take a listen.
Okay, it's already really great tone out of the microphone itself, but now I'm gonna click here twice. I always keep forgetting. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna engage it, okay? Now let's take a listen. I'm gonna toggle off, on and off, so you guys can take see the differences of the microphones, okay? They're very convincing and I've seen other guys testing this stuff with real microphones and there's absolutely no difference. Now, I think this is a game changer really because you can use a microphone, a very affordable microphone and put it sounding like a 3000 or 4000 or whatever microphone. It's really that good. Now I'm gonna just mess around here a little bit while you guys listen to the, to the track with the filter, proximity and axis. You can hear the bass all come along when you get the microphone closer. And then there's a filter, of course. Now, what I can do is the same thing, but I'm gonna choose this one. And double click. And here says what you need to know about this microphone. Let's take a listen without it, and then I'll engage it. Okay, same thing with the microphone. Now I'm going to tweak also the parameters below the plugin, but you see the warmth of the microphone. It's really awesome. It's on and I'm going to tweak some stuff here. And this works great with any style of music, any type of guitar. If you play metal, if you play rock, if you play blues, whatever, if you play clean, it's amazing. Now, let's check out another microphone. By the way, I just can click here and it will change to another microphone. Now you can read everything here about this microphone that I'm sure you guys know what it is. And the filter is a great thing because you don't have to high pass her after the fact, you know? So you can really, can really just mix it with the plugin and see what best fits your track without adding some extra EQ or something like that. So this was without it, now with it. Let's check it out. Tweak some controls while it's playing. And a little more top end, you just turn off the axis. You need it to be more warmth and fuller. Back, reset everything. Put a little bit here. And this is great because you have a great tone and then after the fact, 
if you don't know use don't want to use the reverb effects or modulation effects on your katana you can add them after effect which is what most people do in the studios anyways and now last but not least the 441 let's start without it and then i'm going to engage it Okay, back to the beginning, and now with the microphone. Okay, a little bit here. Without it. It's a good tone, but... Sounds beautiful. Once again, I'm going to tweak some of the controls here with this microphone while it's playing. These parameters also change uh, as the microphone changes. So right now it has brilliance and then S2 and S3. So, okay. Cool. And it sounds amazing. Now you may ask, as I also asked before, because I didn't know better, is the fact that if you go into your other microphones that are here, they still work, but it's not the same thing. You really have to have the microphone, because if I put this SD5 as my source mic, okay, and then close this, it will give me different microphones, but they're not, they're not um, made for the microphone I'm using right now. You can see there are other microphones, and if you go even different with this one, I'm still learning this, yeah, this thing. Interface, uh, if you go with this one, you'll have other microphones. So really the idea, if you can have them all, <laughs> and they're not very expensive, you get the best, see, microphones that, that, that cost a fortune. I don't know, this one, I saw one that has a Shure SM57, I can't recall right now which one was, but it's here somewhere. I believe it was the cheapest one, this one. If I'm not mistaken, let's check it out. Yeah, it has a 57 or two 57s. If I click here, yeah, kind of a two 57s, a different version, of course. And this one. And there's also, you can also read about the stuff. There is, if I put it play, it's not the same thing because the, the software is not designed to work with this microphone. In my case, it's the SD7 and we're here with the source with the SD3. So you have really to use the source or we will give you false results. So I think it's a great plugin uh, and a great acquisition if, if you have a UED software and in your studio, like an Apollo interface or something like that, and you want to grab a microphone that does it all. And by the way, once again, they're all very affordable and contain a lot of great mic collections. You can do it, do it just everything with one microphone for your vocals, for your drums and stuff like that, or several microphones, I mean, and just then change it after the fact or record in real time. And you have uh, another kind of tone that you have to have the real microphone to access it. And that would mean you have to buy much more uh, non-affordable microphones in the range of two, three, four, or even more K. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're into recording, and you're using a Boss Katana, whatever amp you're using. I'm using my Boss Katana Gen 3 because right now it's my favorite amp of them all that I have here, including tube amps, by the way. You can really change this and give it a professional sounding recording. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. And I hope to see you on the next one. Cheers.